All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to F1 2021 My Team Career Mode. We're starting off Season 2 here in this video, so please show it support, drop a like. Let's try and beat 125 likes. This is basically Part 1 of the new season, and we're going to be doing the Bahrain Grand Prix, and hopefully we can catch up to uh, some of the midfield teams in, uh, in, in this season. We don't want to be at the back, of the back of the grid again this season. We have Mick Schumacher as our teammate now, if you missed that. And uh, I'm looking forward to the season ahead. It should be a fun one. Let's do this thing. Race weekend. Here we go. Hello, Loki. How you doing, buddy? I'm going to go straight to qualifying. Hey, welcome to the start of the new season. Thank you. So I'll be straight. We've not done as well as we should have at maintaining performance through the regs change. Wow. So we're going to be playing catch up a bit. That's going to put some pressure on you. But the whole team's behind you. You serious? We didn't do as well keeping up as we should have? That's bullshit. I want answers, and I want them now. All right? I want them now, man. This is what I would call number one bullshit. Oh, shit. I did not mean to skip that. First, you have to finish. Mick Schumacher. I went into this by accident, by the way. I didn't mean to, but whatever. Let's do the track acclimatization just to get into the new season, all right? Let's do it. We'll get used to the new car, get into the new season, and then... I'll skip this practice and skip the next couple practices and we'll go from there, all right? Let's do a flying lap and let's do this thing. I'm excited, boys. I'm actually I'm actually excited. It's good to be here. Oh, we have that thing there the whole time now. First, you have to finish Michael Schumacher. I wonder if does Mick Schumacher have anything like that on his car. The new car looks sick, by the way. gates as you can. The faster you get through each corner, the higher the score. It's been a hot minute since we played now. the DRS zone as well. In a hot minute since I played this now. It's been over a week, I would say. So it's good to be back. It feels good, man. DRS is on. Lap one, here we go. Where's the first gate? Where is the first gate then, eh? Who wants it, buddy? There it is. Oh, yeah, this track. I actually struggle on this track, I tell you. Approaching the DRS See? Zone. I told you, I struggle on this track, point. for God's sake. It's shocking. I don't know what it is, but this... Track, I always struggle. Just about got that DRS, by the way. I saw it last second. Invalidated lap time. Oh, shit. They invalidated my lap time. They are going to be more strict with that, huh? That's actually nice. I like that. I like that. Okay, let's go for another one. Can't be any worse than that one, for goodness sake. We can definitely speed up a bit in the following corners. Yeah. Turn 2, turn 7, a lot of them. turn 9, turn 10, turn 12, How many turn 13... A lot of turns, I get it. <laughs> I get it. A lot of turns we can speed up on. Ooh, just got the RS as well. That was a decent start. Three purples and a green. Lovely. Lovely jubbly, mate. Okay. Definitely not ideal right now, but we're, uh... We're grinding! Okay. Is this better? I think this is a lot better than the last lap, but still not. I don't know, the car just feels a little off. Good thing I done practice, though. Good thing I don't practice to get used to it. Get to get used to how this feels. He did say we were, our car was struggling. I didn't know how much, huh? I didn't know how much. There we go. All purples. This is decent. This is decent, to be fair. I'll take this. Okay. Good, 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 good. Lovely jubbly. That was nice. I have to say that was a good one. Great stuff. You pretty much Thank nailed you. this circuit. This is a really strong foundation to build from. Over Objective the complete. Awesome. All right, target score 470. That was that was good. That was good. Let's pull in and uh, retire from the session. Hey, buddy. How you doing? We'll be going soon. I'm, it's 10:13 and I haven't taken the dogs for a walk yet, so they are fuming. The session has drawn to a close. They so let's fuming. review our top three. Hamilton, let's, let's Norris, see where we are. and Charles Leclerc. Only Nikita Mazepin is, is behind by. us. That's We're not ideal. <laughs> <weekend>. <laughs> Only Mazepin is behind us. That's how you know things are really bad. 
That's a, you know, uh, we got to be beating our teammate. We kind of got to go up against our teammate. Mick Schumacher 1v1 to see, like, uh, where we are. I get stuck in there. Damn it, we failed a 50%er twice. I hate when that happens. I hate when you fail a 50%er twice. It's so annoying. Might as well go for this. All right. Can't do anything else with that. All right, ERS management. Let's go for this one. Come on, don't be a... Don't be a yes, thank you. We go for another 50. Let's go for this. 70% success. Completed optimal energy. Let's go for this again. 70% success. Boom. Nailed it. Okay, that was decent. Don't have enough time to do anything else, but that's fine. That's perfectly fine. All right. Practice went okay, we'll say. It's time for quali now, and uh, we're struggling with the car, so we'll see how that goes. Mick Schumacher looking good in blue. The X4 Mick Blue, Mick Schumacher the German. Go on, lad. You ready for this? Let's go. Come on. Let's do this thing. I'm ready. We're all ready. Formula One Golf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2021. X4 Mick. Damn, we're looking good in the blue, I think. We're looking good in the blue, I think. Okay. On soft tires. Let's just get out there and put a lap in early. Not gonna be our um Not gonna be our lap, but we'll we'll go to track and we'll see what we can do. Park for May regulations, yes. We'll flying lap. Dogs are causing chaos in the background there. They call him Matt. This car looks so good in my opinion. Alright, come on. Put a decent lap in. Loki, Indigo, stop! Mm, not ideal, not ideal at all. That corner I really struggle with, actually. I really do for some reason. I, I am terrible at that corner. That is not the start you want, really, is it? Okay. Just trying a couple new things, really, just to see how this car feels. And This is not going to be my uh, qualifying time, don't you worry. Well, I should hope not, anyway. Invalidated lap time exceeding track limits. Damn it. That was my fault. That was my own fault. Alright. Lap time does not matter now. I went I went way too far on the curb there. The key to Mazepin sets the fastest lap. I'm guessing that's just the first lap. Who the hell is Callum Illot? He set the fastest lap now. Who the hell is that? Did he replace Mick Schumacher, maybe at Haas? When we took him? Potentially, yes. Let's just get used to the car, keep the tires warm as we're going around here. DRS is on. 200 miles an hour down the straight here. Let off there and then brake. But let off before you brake, I feel like there. I always feel cautious breaking out of there, though. I don't know why. But I'm always really cautious breaking out of there. DRS is on again. Go. Good to go, baby. Come on. I actually prefer having the lap times invalidated if I go off the track, because. It really does make you want to stick on the on the line and stick on the track. The light. It just feels like the car is slipping a lot. Like I'm losing only a rear end a lot. Lining. You know, that's uh, that's the only problem I'm having with the car at the moment. Other than that, it feels okay, but I feel like I'm losing it way too easily, like accelerating out of the corners. I don't know why that is. DRS is on. This is a decent lap though. Not too bad at all. This is a, a decent lap, I think. Let's see. Sixth. Okay. For now. We have gone sixth. Decent lap. Decent lap for sure. Okay, let me pull in here. All right, I should not be pulling in here. That's for sure. Pulling up here. Okay. <laughs> my bad, bro. My bad. All right, let's get back in the in the garage and just see how things play out for a, for a little bit. If we have to do one more, we'll do one more. 100%. Let's see. Have a look. I think we might have to. Yeah, we're down to 11th already. Let's just accelerate time there. 12th. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to be outside of it. 100%. 15th now. And we're still 15th. Still 15th as it sounds. Let's wait till people go back out. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. We're still 15th, but I would not feel comfortable at all staying in right now. So let's switch to these softs. Let's go out and do another, uh, another lap. Let's do a flying lap and let's go. Come on. We can 100% do better than that. 
and shave some time off. That was our first full lap, so still learning the car was our first full lap um, in qualifying, that is. The other one was invalidated, of course. And we definitely lost the car a couple times, like, a little bit, so we can beat this. Get out of my way now, buddy. Lungar, do not mess this up for me. I know I was your former teammate, man, but come on. He is going to mess it up for me, isn't he? Okay, we're getting DRS off him, actually. Dude, get out of my way, please. I beg. No, we were already... We lost time there. Having a little tussle with Lungard, we lost time, definitely. That's unfortunate. All right. Happens, though. As uh, qualifying with Perez and uh, Max Verstappen showed at the Mexican Grand Prix. By the way, Max Verstappen... Oh, my lord. Yikes. Are you okay? That was a nasty hit. Turn the engine off and wait for the marshals. Yeah. By the way, Max Verstappen won the Mexican Grand Prix as well. Let's just do flashback. Screw it. Save me having to go back to the garage. Well, actually, I'm just going to go straight. No, I don't think I have time. We're going to get around in time to do another lap, though. So you should uh, do that. I'll get out of your way, Lungard. I'll leave you go, pal. I'll leave you have your lap, and I'm just going to get back around in time to do one more lap. This is not my lap, of course. Um, but yeah, Max Verstappen won the Mexican Grand Prix. Checo Perez is on the podium, which was awesome to see. Um, it was really awesome to see, actually. His dad was going crazy. Um, the Mexican fans were going crazy. It was just so cool to see Perez um, get that podium position. He deserved it, man. Um, and what happened to Bottas? I've done that multiple times now. Multiple times I've done that on that exact stretch of the... Of the um... Right now we're positions 13. How do we go from 15 to 13? What? Did some people have their lap times invalidated, I guess, maybe? Really weird, though. We were 15th, and now we're 13th. So we've gained two positions without getting a better lap. Alrighty, then. You know what? I'll take it. I'll take it, but whatever. Alright, we gained on our lap there. Beautiful. We played that corner nicely. There we go. Gio Venazzi better not goddamn get in my way here. That's all I'll say. Gio, you better not, son. Because this is a decent lap. This uh, this could p propel us into the top ten here. People don't have much time left at all, either. So. We might not qualify if this is our lap, like the one that we already have. If it stays like that, we might not qualify. Gio, please don't ruin this for me, man. That was a purple sector, too. Gio, get out of my way, man. Come on, Gio. Don't do this. Don't do this, Gio. I'm breaking late. I'm breaking late to get past Gio Benazzi. I have to. I have to. And it worked out well. That's a beautiful lap. That's a tremendous lap, I think. Boom. That was good. I really think that was like a top 10 lap, 100%. That was a nice lap towards the end there. Just need to do that a little more consistently. 14th? Dang. We qualified, though. <laughs> At least we're in. But I thought that was going to be better. thought that was going to be better. I really did. <laughs> Damn it. 14th. I was like, that's going to be... I, I was thinking I could be like 6th, 7th, but no. Because we were 13th, and we shaved off more than half a second. I would have assumed that to, to bring us up a place rather than down one place, but whatever. I think the leaderboard was bugged there for a second because it did put me back two spots. Okay. We're into Q2, though. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter where we came. We're in Q2, and we're going to go to the track and uh, start off. What should we start with here, though? Let's try it. Let's try a medium tire. Let's try a medium tire start. Usually, I always start with softs and then go to the mediums. Let's try the opposite this time. See if it works out better for us, all right? I want to try it and see. We're probably not going to get a great qualifying position because um, we're using mediums, obviously. Than the softs, but it adds a second to our lap apparently. But whatever, no biggie, no freaking biggie. This and next lap invalidated. What? I hadn't even started my lap yet. That doesn't even make sense. I hadn't even started my lap. That's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. That's legitimately the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Why would that matter? I hadn't started my lap. 
Oh, God. Indy, come on. Move out of the way, please. Beautiful. Beautiful turn there. Okay. Come on. Got this. Put a decent lap here. This has actually been okay, I think. You can actually finish off strong. Come on, baby! Come on! We're not getting close to Gasly's 130 time, and that's 12th, so... Pretty close. We're 14th. We've jumped up two spots. There's only one lap of fuel remaining. Okay, well, I'm just gonna go and flat out this lap then and try and get that, uh, that one lap of fuel in. Go. Do it. Beat our time. Let's beat our time, baby! We're ahead of Latifi and Russell. We're ahead of the two Williams. Made it into Q2. We're ahead of no one else, so... Let's see if we can do it now. Russell isn't in a Mercedes. That's, uh... Game's rigged. Okay, this has been a really good lap so far. We're a full second and a half, nearly, ahead of our previous time. This is really good. Let's keep this going now. Oh, this is an immense lap right here. This is the best lap I put in yet, maybe. I nearly just invalidated it right there from a complete lack of concentration because I was looking at the time. I was too busy looking at the time. Okay. Okay. Okay, we got away with that. We need to make sure not to spin at this corner like I have done so many times before. Take my foot off the gas there because I think I wasn't going to be able to turn hard enough otherwise. Okay, this is just immense. It's down under a second now because I have to take my foot off the gas on that one corner. Other than that, it's really good. Sector 3 hasn't been perfect. It's been poor, in fact. Sector 3 has been poor, but we are going to shave some time off it. We're going to move up to 7th. Woo! <laughs> up to 7th, baby. We don't have enough uh, fuel to do another lap, so I'm just going to go in here. I think that's where we're going to end it. On, on the medium tires, you know what? That is not bad at all. At all. That is good stuff. If I could start in the top 10 on the mediums, that would be pretty legit. Alright, let's check the session info. Let's accelerate to the end. I'm not going to have time to do another lap anyway, so I might as well just accelerate to the end here. We are going to finish 8th, 9th. We're going to make it to Q Q3. We're going to make it to Q3. Awesome. Hell yes, dude. Oh, Callum Illod is for Mercedes. He's replaced Valtteri Bottas. Okay, let's have a look at all the different cars here. Sainz and Leclerc are still at Ferrari. Max Verstappen and Perez still at Red Bull. Norris and Ricardo still at... Uh, yeah, so most of them are the same. Fernando Alonso. Alfa Romeo, I don't see them. Maybe he's still in the Alfa Romeo, but it was blue. Alfa Romeo is usually red, right? I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of confused now. A little bit. All right, whatever. We'll check it when we're looking at the grid tomorrow. All right, we made it to practice three. Q3. This is going to be a longer video then, huh? Good Lord. There you go. Come on. Go quick. Let's just go straight up quick, huh? How about it? How about it, boys? Let's go quick. Real, real quick. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling the power of positivity flowing through my veins here. I don't know if you guys feel it, but I feel it. Where do we go from here? I'm feeling this. Turn the lights down now. I'm feeling this. Very nearly invalidated my lap time there, to be honest, I think. This is a really good lap. I like it so far. I like it so far. It's good. I was a little bit of an um, overseer there. Lewis Hamilton takes the fastest lap so far. Oh my god. We so nearly went off track there. That would have been terrible. But we definitely lost time, unfortunately, there. Quite unfortunate, but it is what it is. Lovely. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, no, no! I invalidated my time. Shit! That was such a good lap. It was honestly an amazing lap. That is depressing, because that was honestly, I, I think, going to be my best lap so far. Oh, Max Verstappen takes the fastest lap with a 1-2-9. You know what I mean? Mine, honestly, would have been the fastest lap of the race, I'm pretty sure. It still was, nearly. What the hell is that? 129.8, that was. That was such a good lap, man. We could have had the been qualifying for pole position there. <laughs> Imagine. Well, we're beating that lap now. Why not? Let's do it. Get pole here. Be a pole sitter. 
Oh no, we didn't do that turn as well. Definitely not as well. Yeah, see, I raced this part of the track really well, I think. Remaining. What's the problem? We're already half a second behind. That'll show you how well I did on that last one. That one doesn't even count, though, so why you show me uh, up against that one? I guess it's kind of a good benchmark, though. I invalid my, invalidated my time at such like a pointless thing as well. Oh my god, we're ahead of it now. Could we get the fastest lap? Is the difficulty too easy? This is where I invalidated my time. Not so this time. Not so this time. We are three tenths behind, but that's okay. Do now. Lap is gonna count, you see. That's the difference. Oh my god, we're ahead of it now. Second! Oh my god, we're second! We didn't quite catch Max, but we're second! Oh my lord, what a lap! What a bloody lap, mate! Holy god almighty! <laughs> oh! A 129! I think we're going to have to pump the difficulty up again soon, guys. Because I've found my rhythm now. I've found my rhythm 100%. I'm not going to do another lap. We're just going to let this play out. I think we might honestly come second. Top five, minimum. Yep, yeah, look. We came second. We came second. With Holy balls. Finished, we came fourth. To remind okay. ourselves of our top fourth. Three. Perez, Perez Hamilton, Hamilton, Max Verstappen Max ahead. We're ahead of the two Ferraris. All Insane. that remains is the main event. We'll Insane. Be live and uninterrupted for the Grand Prix tomorrow, so make sure you join us then. Nearly a full second ahead of Pierre Gasly in 10. Wow, what a lap, boys. Time for the Grand Prix. The fans really seem to enjoy that. You made it look easy. I did, didn't I? <laughs> Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Let's say... Uh, Esteban Akon. It's been a great qualifying session for you. I don't want to go up against Gasly or Science yet. Um, that's the plan. Keep an eye on me tomorrow and you'll see something special. Okay, let's just say that one. Your teammates seem to struggle this weekend. Is there any cause for concern for the team? I have faith they can pull this back. 100%. Appreciate your time. Nick Schumacher's the man. Nick Schumacher got this. Absolutely. Incredible. I, I don't think he qualified very high up. I, th I think he went out in Q1. Honestly, the fact that I got to Q3 and came second is a miracle. So, see what happens in the actual race. We're starting on the mediums as well, you have to remember. We came fourth, not second. I keep saying second. All that right. was second. I think we can call that a successful qualifying. I think we can. A good chance in the race. All right, Esteban Ocon is our rival. We already had a rivalry with him is the only thing. So, it's a little bit weird, but whatever. No big deal. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it, boys. Hoi! Months of rumor and speculation all come to an end today. As, As we, we return, return to, to racing, racing for the, for the opening, opening event, event of what promises to be, to be an enthralling season. season. Welcome along then to round one of this year's Formula One World Championship. Hell yeah. We go racing today around 3.36 miles of the magnificent Bahrain. Let's skip this and let's go let's run you through to the, the starting grid. I want to see it. For today's exciting race, Sergio Perez will lead us away from pole position. Go on, Perez, lad. Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Ace, Charles Leclerc, and Sainz. Pretty realistic Norris, qualifying, Alan, actually. Ricardo and Pierre Gasly. Really realistic. Sonoda. Fernando Alonso, Esteban Ocon, and Stroll, Russell, Mick Schumacher. 16th, okay. Guan Yu Zhou. And He's at Alfa Romeo, Giovinazzi is Williams now, okay. Armstrong, Lundgaard. Lundgaard is Haas. Mazepin, and Nicholas Latifi. Latifi's at the it, back then. in an Aston it's Martin. It's time to go racing huh. as we head to track side. Aston Martin struggling, I guess, because Stroll wasn't up there either. Look at the race strategy. We're starting on the mediums, and then we're going to the softs. Okay, sounds good to me. One pit stop, fuel load. We'll put that to 15.1. Starting in fourth here, so we got to be on the money here. Got to be on the money, baby. Come on. I'm hyped. Everyone else is on softs, though, so I think we're going to look to maybe take get time at the end. We're going to look to overtake people towards the end. 
Whereas people might be overtaking me at the start. That's okay. Deal just like that. The two Ferraris and the McLaren. Oh, God, man. Who is that? Signs or Leclerc? Get off me, bro. Oh, Jesus. I had to let Gasly go as well. All right, we're down from 4th to 8th, but that could have been expected, honestly. It's not a horror start. If we stay in the points, I'll be pretty happy, you know? By the end of the race, we can look to uh, maybe gain on Gasly and Leclerc when we're on the softs. Although, it looks like Gasly might be on mediums as well from the side here. Or is he on hards? Hard to see there. No, he's on softs, sorry. It just looked like he was on hards from back there. Oh, nearly spinning, but we're okay. Who's behind me? There's a Mercedes behind me. It's Illot. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But uh, he is behind me. And gaining, of course, because he's in a goddamn Mercedes. No DRS yet, though, thankfully. Okay. Decent start. You know, honestly, the fact that we dropped back from 4th to 8th is the end of the world. Um, because I think they were going to be overtaking us sooner or later, uh, eventually, anyway. So it's like, it's not a big deal, really. Um, although we're looking to get past Gasly here. Our car is quick right now, is it? Not going to get the overtake there, but uh, a good effort nonetheless. We got close enough to Gasly, and Sergio Perez sets the fastest lap of the race in clean air. All right. Decent start. So how long am I going to go on the mediums, you reckon? Like eight laps, probably? I would assume. I would assume eight laps, and then we'll switch to the softs to the last six. Something like that. I maybe do half and half. I'm not exactly sure. And here goes the Mercedes of Callum Illot. But, uh, he doesn't get it yet. It's a good defense. It's a stout defense from Young Ace, as they call him in this game. As they call me in this game, I should say. That's a green sector one. Lovely hurling. That's a good sector two so far as well, but we need to keep it on this corner. That's the most important corner of sector two. And we got it. Good stuff. Went wide on that corner, but that actually worked out okay. Actually worked out okay. Let's see if we can... Uh... We're keeping pace with Gasly on the end. We're on the mediums. Everyone else around us is on the soft. So, honestly, we're doing really good here so far. Ever since we dropped back at the start, we're doing really solid stuff. And we're keeping the Mercedes at bay. I don't want to speak too soon now. Warning for exceeding track limits. I Come on, I barely exceeded them there. I was... Like, I barely went off, man. How many warnings do I get? Better not get a stupid penalty in this race, I swear to God. You gotta be so focused the entire time, which is something that just... I'm in awe of how Formula 1 racers do this. Is like, keep their focus for 70-odd laps. Uh, sometimes it's like it's, it's mental as the Mercedes goes past me, but that's my fastest lap of the race anyway, so you know, I'm pretty happy with that. That's my fastest lap so far. Come on, Callum, I'll let you go, pal. Uh, my beef is not with Mercedes today, that's for sure. And we got Sonoda, Yuki Sonoda behind us. He's going for the overtake on us now. He's not gonna get it. He's not gonna get it, and we're gonna cut him off there. Nicely. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no! What the hell just happened there? We spun. We spun there. We lost control of the car for a second. And now we're out of the points all of a sudden. And that was just a bad corner there. And Lando Norris, I would imagine, is hot on our tail. No, nope, he's not even there. Maybe Lando's up ahead, actually. I'm not sure. Uh, Fernando Alonso and Esteban Ocon, um, who we're having a rivalry with. Behind us now. Jesus, I had to go wide there to, to not hit Daniel Ricciardo. And now right, Fernando Alonso a going past us. Have the, the battery charged up, though? I broke so late there to get past Fernando Alonso. Well done, son. That was nice. Are you kidding me, Alonso? That's a warning for me, then! He literally hit me off the track. Oh, that is utter horseshit. And now I'm getting a warning for a collision with Ocon. Like, what is happening? He smacked into the back of me. That is not my fault at all. And that gives us another warning for exceeding track limits now. I bet I'm going to get a penalty for that now. Because if I, if I do it once more, I'm pretty sure. I've got two warnings already. We have to assume third strike and it's a penalty. Which I will be, honestly, I'll be really pissed off about. Because that one was not my fault at all. Esteban knock on there. And when we're overtaking, we got to be a lot more careful as well, because I used to overtake going off the track 
quite a lot, let's be honest. Still have DRS on the on the boys ahead of us. Mick Schumacher's behind me now. He's gained a couple of places since the start, and he is directly behind me, so we might have a little bit of a battle with our teammate going on here soon. Uh, Mick Schumacher, if you have more pace than me on the soft slide, I'm happy to let you go. You know? Happy to let you go, Mick. Green sector one there, lovely stuff. Really nice, and we're gaining on the two Alpines here, 100%. Can we gain on them enough to get into DRS range? That corner is so tough, man. That corner is so, so tough. That's shockingly bad, guys. That is shockingly bad. I need to break earlier on that corner. I am breaking so late on that corner. Even like I'm breaking when it's red, but you need to break way earlier than that. Absolutely you do. And this is going to be a big red sector too. It's actually going okay. No, not this again. I swear to God. I nearly spun out on that about 16 times now. On fucking five laps. Oh my God. All right, we're okay though. We somehow managed to keep Stroll at bay. I don't know how he didn't get closer there. We were gaining on the Alpines until I started talking. Ah. All right, we're back way behind them now. 2.5 seconds behind Ocon. We're approaching the pit window. You'll be no on worries. the soft. No worries, no worries, no worries. That was a decent lap. That was our best lap so far, I think, actually. Even with that horrid sector two. Um, we can improve that, definitely. We can can uh, we can gain some time on Ocon. And Alonso's gone a fair bit ahead, and our rivalry is with Ocon as well, so this could get pretty intense here if we can get within DRS range. Or maybe when we're on the softs, It'll be a little bit easier to hunt him down because um, obviously he will be on uh, the mediums then. Okay, that was better on that turn, but still not good. Like, I'm just bad at those two turns back to back. I really struggle on them. I'm struggling in general at the moment, guys. I really am. I'm struggling, man. That was nice, though. That was nice, and a green sector too for once. Tandy? I imagine by quite some margin as well, huh? Oh, well, it actually has those two turns, so probably not by quite some margin. All right. Decent. Decent. We're gaining some time on him now a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. Troll is not in DRS range on us, so we're fine, and they are all pitting. Mick and we're up to seven. In for his stop. Mick is coming in for a stop. We're going a little bit longer, obviously, because we're on the mediums. Dog is going crazy in the background for some reason, but... Okay. Stroll has DRS on us now, though. Oh, not ideal, man. Lance Stroll could be looking to get past us here soon. We're holding him back so far. We're holding him back so far. Good. Good. Okay, good. If we can get this corner right now. Without spinning out at all. Ah, uh, it's, it's so hard. I really struggle on that corner, man. This is the one now where I really struggle on, but uh, that was that was that was good until I kinda just slowed down a little bit too much at the end. Slowed down a little too much at the end there. Alright, this is the corner up here that I need to be wary of as well. Not to overturn into the bank there. Oh, that's poor. I have to let my foot off the gas. I was too wide on it. I was too wide on it, but we haven't invalidated track limit since. Practice made... I got a challenge complete. Practice makes perfect in Bahrain. What the hell's that about? I do not know, mate. I do not know. We're in seventh right now. Not bad at all. Obviously, we're not going to stay in seventh. A lot of people are in the pits right now. But, uh, we're up to, lap. We're up to fifth. The best in lap you can. Hey, we're on the podium right now. We're in second position behind Esteban Ocon, actually. So me and my rival are now leading this Grand Prix temporarily. Hell yeah. Let's get it, Ocon. If I can get close to you, I'm going to take the lead for a lap. No, he's actually pulled away from us now. He's three seconds ahead. We did get it down to 2.4, but he's pulled it back to three, uh, three seconds now. So uh, not looking good on us catching Esteban Ocon, unless we can get on the softs ASAP. Is he on mediums too? No. No, he's on softs. So he's going long on the softs then. I was distracted. I was distracted looking at whether his tires were fucking medium or soft. You need to stop doing shit like that because it's costing me 
Like, a lot. <laughs> like, I need to stop doing it. I thank God for the rewind feature, because otherwise I would literally be screwed on little lapses of concentration like that. Which is something I probably need to get used to anyway. I need to stop, I need to, like, stop rewinding. When shit like that happens, I need to just take it on the chin. That is my own fault there. I mean, that's just a, a rookie error, you know? You get distracted so easily in this game, man. All right, when are they telling me to gonna? Uh, am I gonna box this lap? They didn't tell me to box yet, so I would assume they want me to box this lap. It's a lap eight for God's sake, no? We're going a little bit longer than we would have thought on these mediums, but we are in the podium position, so Let's see what happens. We'll see where we come out. Esteban still has. What if I just don't box the entire lap? <laughs> the entire thing, I just don't box, I just stay out. Yeah, I'm coming in with him. I'm coming in with you, Esty. Okay, let's go, Esteban. I probably could do that, honestly, but it would be a little unrealistic. <laughs> I think you have to box once anyway. Alright, let's see how far back we drop. Probably gonna drop back to where we were, I would assume. It was 13. Go now. Yep, we're 12. Come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get ahead of the next people. Look after these tires now. We we're going to the, the end, yes, 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 yes. Gonna stay in 12? Just about, yes. Okay, who's behind me? Gasly and Stroll. Ooh! Did we undercut Gasly? I don't think we were ahead of Gasly. Were we? Maybe we were ahead of Gasly, I don't know. No, we weren't. We undercut Gasly. Uh, like, we... Oh, we didn't undercut him, because he's already pitted, actually, hasn't he? Huh. I don't know how the hell we got ahead of Gasly. Maybe he had a little crash or something. Now we have the softs to chase down Esteban Akon, though. He is on fresh tires as well, we have to remember that, and I have just gone very wide there. He is on the soft, so it's not going to be, like, this easy thing to catch him. We need to catch Alonso to get into the points, though, and he's four seconds ahead. So I don't quite see that happening. I think everyone's pitted by now. So, the yeah. The car ahead is not a chance we're catching him. Seconds. Five, seconds five, five seconds behind Alonso, two seconds behind Ocon. Eight seconds. Eight seconds ahead of uh, Mick Schumacher. He must be doing okay. Can't be too far behind there. He's in 15th, maybe 16th. I don't know. We have five. I need to get in DRS running. range though. If I can get in DRS range, I could get Akon. But I need to get there ASAP. Right now we're just outside and we're uh, kind of me meandering. That's a purple sector one though. A purple sector one. I repeat, a purple sector one. Come on, baby. Got the softs on. We're going for this. Come on, Esteban. Oh, I have DRS on you now, pal. I have DRS on you now, Esteban. I don't think I'm going to get him on this straight, but we're going to be close. A late break on him. Oh, I have him. I have him on the next DRS, and I have him. He knows it too, doesn't he? That's why he's slowing down right now. He's trying to hold me off. That's a purple sector too as well. Oh my god, that's a purple sector 2, purple sector 1, and we're going past Esteban Ocon, and we have got past him, we're into 11th position. Oh yes sir, oh yes sir, we nice left it late, this is going to be the fastest lap of the race potentially. And it is the fastest lap of the race, a 131.6, and Esteban Ocon coming back in DRS range, oh my god, what a late break, that was magical. He's back ahead again. Amazing. Amazing stuff. We've got DRS on him. How did I not have DRS there? I'm within a second. That's absolute bullshit. Oh, I didn't have DRS there. They didn't give me DRS. That's amazing. Oh my god, we nearly hit him. Come on, Esteban. My time, baby. We've overtook him at the exact same spot as last time. This time we have to hold the position, though. Oh, he broke later than me. He broke later than me, but I'm holding the position. He's going to get DRS on me again, though. 
Got to drain our battery here to try and get ahead of him. Stay ahead of him. Is he going to get me back? Going front is 4.5 seconds. We're going to see the same situation back to back laps. No, we're not. No, we're not. I broke way too late. I broke way, way, way too late, man. What am I doing? What am I doing? I was pathetic, man. I was too busy focusing on remaining. Esteban that I didn't even think about what I was doing on the actual corner. Not breaking in time, that was it. God, man, that was moronic. Literally, I've just let Esteban go past me at the start of both laps after overtaking him. After doing all the hard work of overtaking him, we've just let him go back again, past. Back in DRS range on Esteban Ocon, can we actually catch him? The question. Do we have the answer? Can we catch him and, and stay on to the position is the question. We know we can catch him, but can we hold the position once we do? Okay, decent. Decent. Come on, Esteban. You know this is my time, son. You know this is my time, Esteban. My time. If you with me, let me hear you say. Mama. Mama. We only have one lap left after this one. We have DRS, but uh, not close enough to Esteban Ocon to catch him right now. Can we get him on the next straight? Let's find out. The last straight is the one where I usually catch him. Let's see if we can do it again. We're going around the outside. Going too wide there. Can we catch him here? Or we so often do. Esteban Ocon versus Apex again, baby. Sherlock Ely against Esteban Ocon. Down the main straight. That's off the accelerator. Brakes late. It's beautiful. He's got the move. Can he make it stick? Can he make it stick? Brilliant. Nice move. He's this got DRS. Final lap. final lap of the race. Gap to team No way, this. man. He's back past me again. Seconds. I'm going to break late again, though. Not ideal, not ideal on the line, but we're gonna hold the position. We're gonna have DRS here. This is an incredible battle between two rivals. I'm so glad I pissed, picked that. And blah, blah. I can't speak. I can't speak. I'm so glad I picked. I uh, still, I can't say picked. I'm so glad I picked Esteban Alcan as my rival because this race has just been absolutely perfect for it. We have had an absolute storm, storm burner with Esteban Ocon, and we are on to the last lap of the race now. We can see if we can hold on here. We're 11th position, we're not gonna get any points, but you know what? It's been a phenomenal race nonetheless. We're five seconds off the points with uh, Fernando Alonso in the points, and Sonoda ahead of him. It was just the, the start of the race, really. Took us out of it, but um, we battled back nicely, and now we're looking to, to secure our first points of the season in the first race of the season. And it's looking good. Looking good. Race winner is Max Verstappen of Red Bull. And we have secured 11th position ahead of Esteban Ocon. We've beaten the Alpine here. And we've gotten the points on the first day. And that is really all we could have asked for. As the fireworks go off. And we see the checkered flag. It's points for Ace in his first race. That's the end boom, of the boom. race. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. Driver of the day is Lando Norris. Lando, Lando. I wish, faces on the pit wall after a superb I wish there was a way to make just qualifying and harder, because so. I feel like it's what too easy. <laughs> from the whole team. Anthony Davidson. Maybe I should do How one do lap qualifying again. What do you think, guys? Apart today? Well, this was a real team That's victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment. Go on, Max, lad. Execute the team's plan to perfection. He's winning in real life. He's winning in the video game. Really and Red Bull sport. take the first victory of the season. Red Bull put up an outstanding fight for the front position today. And it's great to see it paid off. Let's for see them. it, Max. They do so much for the sport. It's a new season. Be delighted. It's the same old face at the win. top. It's Max Verstappen. Winner in the Bahrain Grand Prix. With his teammate in second position and Lando Norris on the podium next to them. Beautiful to see Lando up there as well. Practice makes perfect in Bahrain. Second chances. Oh, this is the VIP. 
So then, it's time to see how this result affects the drivers' championship. Max Verstappen. Wait, what am I talking about? I didn't get points. Why was I thinking I got points? I, I was talking about how I didn't get points. I had the fastest lap though, but I don't get a point for it because I wasn't in the top ten. Confident and assured. Damn it, dude! If I had been ahead of Alonso, I would have got two points. With his performance today, it's time to see how things are shaping up. Why was I so convinced that I got a point, man? Take over as championship leaders. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. Like that's comedy. Comedy stuff. All right, I'm a moron, but it is what it is. Thank there. you. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. Yeah. We all underestimated you, didn't we? Uh, you underestimated the team. We were in, when we're in sync. Great things can happen. That was an epic battle today. How do you think this will play out? A battle for the ages, and I will take the crown. <laughs> Your battle got a bit heated, didn't it? At this level, sometimes contact is inevitable. Great. Well, that's everything. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was a good first race. Good first Grand Prix. We didn't get... We were just out of the points, but um, it was fun nonetheless. Really fun nonetheless. So we got plus four. Lovely stuff. Mick Schumacher, how did you do, pal? Where'd you finish? Complete a race with no DNFs within the team. I'll qualify your rival. I did out-qualify my rival. Esteban Ocon? Or was it because I didn't have a rival until after qualifying? I don't know. That seems very weird. Because I definitely out-qualified my rival. Esteban Ocon was goddamn way down the field. Do the recommended upgrade. We'll do the gearbox reliability testing. Okay. Probably do one more for 455. We can't do anything else, really? You look at this for us, please. We think we should consider investing more in race weekend merchandising. Yeah, let's do that. Our team claim goes Thanks up. We'll make more that. money in the long the run, I think. appreciate it. No worries, pal. No worries at all. The Emilia Romagna Grand Prix is next. Stop advancing. Do we have enough now to do something? Yes, we do. What should we do next? Plank. Okay, let's do the plank. I'll be ready before the Portuguese Grand Prix. How much money do we have? 3.87 million. Is that enough to do anything we need to do? Second driver's experience status slightly improved. Let's do that. 3 million. Let's just do it. All right, we have 2 million with 540. I don't think 540 is enough to do anything either, is it? Okay, well, that's where we're going to end the video, guys. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. We're the second worst car in the grid. Well, we're joined with Williams. But we're behind Alfa Romeo and Alfa Tari. Aston Martin as well. Damn. We need to start improving quickly. I don't know what the best way to do that is, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Forming well in the races, maybe. Getting more money. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out.